But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and our Germany gameplay. Uh, last episode we set up basically the entire plan for the first part of the game, the plans that we have. Uh, it's actually pretty historical, we're gonna go through the Benelux over here, try to invade France after that, and we're gonna try to you know, keep it a little bit historical on this first part of the game, and after that we're gonna see what happens next. Now, I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna keep it totally historical, because we might not even attack the Benelux uh, and France straight away, because the plan was to, uh, to basically con conquer Poland uh, before the world war actually starts and we can do that but smart as I am I totally forgot to fabricate a claim so we have to justify a war goal and to do that we need 46 more political power so that's the first thing we're gonna do in this episode we're gonna make the political power and hopefully uh, get that that um, the claim fast because if we get that before they can get guaranteed by other uh, by other countries we can actually get Poland uh, in, in a fairly simple war and get the entirety of Poland and at that point Probably we're not gonna, you know, there's an option to divide it with uh, with, uh, with the Soviet Union to have a non-aggression non pact with them. Probably we're not even gonna bother with that at that point. So we might end up actually fighting the Soviet Union before we start a fight against the Allies. So that, of course, not very historical, but that's not what we want to do here. I want to f at least follow sort of the, the historical plans over here. That's mainly what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, so first goal is to get this start with the, uh, with the war goal. Let's on pause and let's see if we can get this uh, war power, uh, this political power up soon enough. We have discovered electronic mechanical engineering, which is good because that gives us some extra research speed. We're gonna go for mechanical computing, which gives us even more research time deduction. Reduction, I should say. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go on. So if you have any good tips or tricks or whatever to play this game, then please let me know. Like I said in the first episode, I'm not an expert at the game. I just like the game a lot played it but you know I'm not an expert uh, and uh, I also should mention I don't play with all the DLCs in in you know because I don't own them all uh, but it's still it's an amazing game okay so the Spanish Civil War has uh, started we can send some volunteers if we want to um, since we're still waiting on this war goal I think we can do this so we need to fabricate this and how many how many volunteers can we send to nationalist Spain uh, let's see this. Send volunteers, we can send two. Hmm. If we send two tanks, that would be great. I think we could do that. So, if we send you and you, and we give you a new leader, who should we give uh, this amazing tank? You are actually, you are a pantsleader, leader, which is decent. We give it to you. You are uh, called Paul Hauser, something like that. And we're gonna send you over here. You should be well, only one division. There should be two. Oh, okay. There should be two. There's two now. Okay, let's send the volunteers. Uh, let's send you over there so we can get some army experience and hopefully help nationalist Spain win the war because they might become an ally later on in the uh, in the wars that are to come. So basically, we're just now waiting on that. Uh, we're also waiting on our fabricated claim what are we doing by the way we are doing the four-year plan that is awesome trying to rank up our economy basically uh, they have arrived let's pause the game for a moment because I also want to see what we're building up here so we're building uh, still oil so still uh, what do we call Syn synthetic refineries um, and then we are we're gonna buy, build some more industrial uh, industrial uh, Factories, civilian factories, which basically are used for building stuff, and military factories are used for pr for producing goods like uh, we see over here. So those are th these are all military factories, and we need a lot of them because I I've queued up a lot, and I want a lot more than uh, what we actually have over here. Um, did we did we actually set up the Kriegsmarine to do something? Where is it? We have merged them, but we haven't said something to them. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. Cancel order. You should do convoy raiding uh, in this area. That's good. And our uh, submarine should do the same. Just keep it in that area because we're gonna fight Poland 
Uh, so we need we need them over here basically. Now where are our units? They're over here. Well, we can march in right straight here. I'm gonna do this manually. Uh, the bigger wars I'm not gonna do manually, uh, just because I'm not that good of a min maxer. Um, and you will probably see that over here. So we have a four-year plan. So basically what the four-year plan does, it, it gives us some research bonuses. It unlocks a political advisor, which is actually a pretty good one. Uh, and it will give us some uh, some extra construction speed. But that, that's basically if we take that advisor. So uh, we could go for a west wall to make sure that we have some forts uh, against France. But we're not going to do that yet. Uh, we need to go for some very good stuff over here. So if we can align Hungary and uh, Romania... That would actually be very, very good. Um, in order to do this, to do this one, which is a very good uh, idea in my in my eyes, we need to get them in our faction. So we need to start making Hungary and Romania become fascist. Or at least make them willing to join our faction. Now we could also go for some other stuff like army innovations or befriending people or whatever. Uh, probably it's best if we just go for this one right now. Or should we go for this one? Hmm. This is pretty good. We will get construction speeds. Let's go for autarky first. Uh, because we'll need to align Hungary and Romania. And talking about that, we should probably start working on that. So let's boost fascism in uh, Hungary. And let's boost fascism right here in uh, Romania. And we could probably also do with boosting it in Bulgaria. Bulgaria, most of the time, will actually become fascist in my uh, in my experience. But uh, just to be safe, we're gonna you know keep it like this. Okay, we got some more research done. Uh, what else should we go for? It's 1946, so we're still pretty early on. Maybe we should just go for the next uh, level of uh, doctrine, which gives us big bonuses. And we also could go for something over here, which basically I'm gonna go for the dispersed industry. Because we're, we're going to get bombed. We're basically, we're going to get bombed uh, at some point. We can also go for this one because we have the 50% bonus, which is good. And then we can research this with a normal rate. I think we're going to do that. We're going to start working on this. Uh, this will improve the production efficiency cap, which is basically uh, if we go in here. You can see this little, this little bar that fills up. That's the production efficiency cap. If it's high, that means that you are, you know, they're very effective at making what they're making, um, at producing what they're producing. If you change this up, for instance, if we add one of these factories to another line, then that will mess up the uh, eff effectiveness of that uh, of that factory for a while. So you will actually go down. And the higher the, uh, the, the, the max efficiency you can have, of course, the more you can actually produce uh, per day. So we're going to win this fight, that's awesome. We're going to just, uh, no, we're going to move in and try to, to get a surrounding over here. Just a small one, but every little one counts. Uh, so this is basically, we are, you know, justifying against Poland. Um, we're just going to run in here. Let's take the airport. Now this is not the hard part of the Spanish Civil War. This is the, this is the very easy part. Now we need to find a way to get Madrid and probably Barcelona. We're going to stack wipe this and hopefully uh, get rid of uh, the troops over there, which is always good. If you can get if you can surround troops and then then kill them in a fight, that means that they're gone, which is very, very handy. We're going to try and grab this sort of the line at the river so we can defend it, hopefully. And once it, once it's defended, we can try and go for this. But this might, you know, get a little bit messy. Like we can see over here, we have a thin, thin strain, uh, strand of land over here. Which we have to defend, uh, and this this is the same for for these guys. If they get surrounded, they will be annihilated, which is not a good thing, of course. Now we're not gonna win. Oh, okay, we we are gonna sort of sort of win this fight. Hopefully, we are pushing through here, which is good. We are actually we're keeping some very good troops busy. We are doing a river crossing into hilly terrain, I think. Yeah, hills. And they have mountaineers, so that is a very hard fight for us. Uh, but for now, we are doing fine. We're going to go for dispersed industry, like I said. We, st we even have the, re the research bonus still left, so that's it's very good. Okay, we got broken up here. We need to get in here ASAP to make sure that these guys don't get... Okay, we have some infantry done. Um, so we're going to fight Poland first. So basically, it's, it's just put them on this line. And uh, make sure that we have as many troops on this line to defeat them. 
put them all over here. Now, let's go to our volunteers. What are you doing? You are actually winning this fight at this point, okay? So we're just going to keep going here. You guys are going to join up with that army. We're going to go back over here and see what we're doing. Uh, we might pull off this fight and try to help out these guys. That might be a better idea at this point. Let's try and go for the airport and try to free these guys. Hopefully they can survive. In the meantime, we're gonna add some more to you. And uh, let's actually check how many guys are there coming. We still have one sort of kind of done. Okay, that, that's actually gonna help out pretty good. So, fighting Poland will not be the hard part here. Uh, so we have our new political advisor, which is this guy. Which we're definitely gonna take because he's very good for building up our economy. Uh, building up our civilian factories. Hopefully we can save this guy. I'm not sure if we can. Actually, we did. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, we're gonna try and take the river. Because that's easy to defend. The river crossing would be easy to defend. Autarchy is done. Let's actually go to our troops. So you are done. You should go over there. So we have a nice little front line over here. A nice little front line over here. At least to defend this area. Uh, but also to push in at some point. And now we're going to go, we have Autarchy, which grants us some very nice bonuses for our economy. Now, where do we want to go next? Probably civilian factories. Uh, or, well, nah. If we align these guys, that means that basically that they're more willing to join our faction. So we're going to try and do that. Building up our faction is also pretty important. But we don't need, really need, the, the first thing you should probably do in this game is add up every single time is build up your economy try to build up as much as you can i said it in the first episode if you can outproduce your opponents you are probably gonna win the war okay we're gonna try to fight into madrid a little bit see if we can win that fight if we can we can sort of surround these guys maybe along the river bank here and hope that they these guys can sort of defend the area we are gonna win the fight which is awesome okay so now hopefully these guys will go there yeah, so we can defend this area. We can move on then. These guys are going to try and get out of here, but we're going to try to encircle them. Okay, so the games of the... Well, if you want to read these these things, then uh, please make sure to pause the video. I'm not going to look at them. Uh, I already know sort of what it says. So it's just, it's just flavor. So we have surrounded these guys, which is awesome. So we should just hold out a little bit, make sure we can defend this area. We should be able to defend it. And now we're going to just attack and kill all these guys. Make sure that they are annihilated, and that should give a huge advantage to nationalist Spain. This actually worked out pretty darn well. And we're just gonna mop up these guys over here. And it should be, should be good. Okay, so we are actually, how far are we on the, um, on the claim here? It should be expected to finish 25 December. That's Christmas! So, we still have a little bit left on, on the claim, so hopefully we can win this war. Uh, the volunteers will be brought back once we start our own war. Uh, so we, we should give them as much an, as an advantage as we can. Um, that's, well, actually, let's not move in there. Let's, uh, let's move in here, try to cut them off again. Uh, let's see, do we want excavation? Excavation can be pretty good, but for now, let's go radio. Radio will give us reinforce rate, and it will also unlock some other things uh, later on. Support companies. If you know this game, then you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then just you wait. We are going to kill these four guys. Make sure that they are gone before we are, uh, you know, getting our troops back. Like I said, we want to give as much an advantage. They're trying to really save these guys. And they're actually not doing a bad job of it. Dispersed industry is done. We should go for... Better artillery. I like artillery, and we're gonna definitely use it. So, okay, we're gonna lose that fight. Um, maybe we can go over here, fight them off a bit. We did our idea group here. Align. Uh, let's align Romania. So basically, what will happen is. They will get extra fascism support, except us a fascist diplomacy. Uh, they're just more willing to join our faction, and they're more willing to, to sort of accept fascism. Which is good, we're gonna do that. We're gonna try and, and do that. Which means we all, we're all 
we will sort of wait on our economy a little bit, which is, of course, not the best thing. Uh, they're pushing us back a little bit. We're pushing in over here, which is good. Uh, but for now, we should be able to win this fight. We should just try to get some surroundings done. Which is... Yeah. I know. I don't know. With two tanks, it, it's not the easiest to do. Let's go into the hills, see if we can fight this... Uh, fight this one. We can actually do that. Let's see if we can get rid of this one. They are being engaged, so they can't run out over here. So that's a very good thing. If we can win this one, then these guys are going to be surrounded. Uh, but we need to sort of... We need to sort of accept that the Nationalist Spain is not very good at defending their lines. And that means that we are sort of... We can make surroundings, but we can't really finish them off if these guys don't defend the lines. So, yeah. One more event. We're gonna start kicking out of that fight because uh, basically we are not winning it. Okay, we have some troops here. Uh, five more divisions. You should join up on the, on the border over here. Um, so our generals have a max of 24. You can go over, but that will definitely decrease their uh, efficiency. We can also choose another thing here, so could we go for war economy? No, not yet. We do have still a lot of manpower left, so we don't have to go for a new manpower law. Uh, we could probably go for an infantry expert, so that we have our infantry uh, sort of a, a bit better. They get some bonuses uh, for a war. That is going to come soon, because it's already November, and December we're basically... Christmas Day is when we're going to go in. Uh, well, it's when our claim is going to be finished. So I want to have these guys up there as fast as possible. So we have a full army over here. Uh, the rest is gonna probably go to the other army or to the defending, defending the, uh, the, the, uh, the areas, like the border with France. Come on, kill these guys. So more research, uh, less research time is very good. Uh, this is way up ahead. Uh, let's do excavation so we can get some more stuff. Some more uh, things. Do we actually, we need to take a look at trade. Because we don't have to go at this much for rubber now. Okay, we can just cancel this. Because we are producing it now ourselves. Okay, we have some more guys to join up. Um, should we, well, I think that the 15 over here is actually, that, that should be enough. Although, no, we're just going to feed them as many troops as we can. And we will see if it helps out. Please win this fight, please win this fight. We need some more resources, what do we need? We need some chromium. It's only one, and wh what for? Where do we need it for? Uh, chromium, chromium, chromium. We need it for the battleship. Well, I don't care about that one battleship. Let's leave it. We also have this decision. We're definitely going to do that one. Uh, it's going to go away once we actually enter the war, but eh, that's fine. Did we actually lose this, this fight? Come on, kill it! It's only one dude. Come on, we should be able to kill this guy. And get rid of it. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, let's try and get Madrid back, because we, we can defend it from the river, hopefully. Get in there. See if we can get it. No, we're gonna lose that fight. Go over here. Go over here. Align Romania is done, which is awesome. Uh, align Hungary should be next then. And hopefully we can align them, make sure that they are in a faction, and then we can get a, a, a big, pretty big bonuses to military factories, uh, because they basically become our puppets, sort of. Uh, which is very, very nice. We're still fighting this one. Uh, we're almost done, so these tanks are almost going to come back. And we actually got Madrid, which is very, very good. And there's our justification done. So basically what we're going to do now is... Is it still only Chromium that we're missing? Yeah, only Chromium. That, I don't worry about that. So, well, we're here. We can start the plans. And we can start the war. So nobody is uh, nobody's guaranteeing them. You should always check this if you're doing this uh, this stuff. Nobody's guaranteeing them. So this means that they have no allies. They, they just be on their own. So that's the kind of war. We don't have to call in our allies. It says here, remove National Spirit from Evo Bills. That's the one I just sort of uh, clicked on. Uh, it's going to remove some buffs. It's going to give us some debuffs. But for now, you know, we're going to get that eventually because we're going to go to war. The only thing to not get that is not go to war. And that's not going to happen in this game. 
So just send it and let's go on. And we will see. We should be able to win this pretty easily. We have decisions available. Um, we're just gonna ignore these for now. The Jaggernaut program. Jaggernaut program. Ah, uh, yeah. Better production for close air support. Worse production for tactical bombers. We're not producing any bombers, so we probably should do this. Because we are producing uh, close air support, which is actually pretty strong in the, in the game. And there we go. Should be able to uh, at least get some wins in here. These guys are should be coming back. Yeah, they're coming back. That's amazing. And uh, let's, let's actually see. Do we have some nice picks here that we can have? We can exploit this over here. Well, not, not, not all of you. Let's just go with one. Trying to exploit some of the gaps in their defenses. Um, which aren't many. You should help out there. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you guys should probably head in here to try and get this sort of secluded from the rest. We have some naval results. We're just going to leave those. Uh, the Polish Navy is not that strong. We're probably going to sink a few ships of them. Sink some convoys at least. Uh, volunteer forces are back. That's awesome. So we have you. You're just going to join in over... Well, actually... Uh, where are they? Ah, they're over here. You're gonna join in over here. That means we have too many guys in here. So we can get one and two infantry divisions. Uh, you guys can join up over here. Well, actually, you're probably better off not joining in on any of the fronts here. Uh, you guys just become a garrison. That's totally fine. Help defend a little bit. The two tanks are actually going to help us out in this war a little bit. We, they can push, they can push, they can break through. Uh, and as you can see, we're breaking through their defenses now. And uh, we're actually, we're still just doing re relatively easy. We could rush, we could blitzkrieg this. But I feel like it's better for now. Because it's a very early war to not do that. Uh, we have the gun delay, which is awesome. Uh, should we go for the next one or should we go in this tree? It's 1937, so we probably should go industry. Uh, let's move on. Radio is done. Same thing. Let's go for industry. More industry and more construction speed. Sounds amazing. Can we please, uh, you guys, could you please just attack? I mean, you should be able to win this easily. And then we can break through a little bit more. They're trying to reinforce, which is fine. We're still gonna win. Excavation is done. Uh, should we? Meh. We don't. We don't really need to go in there any further. Uh, let's see. This is not needed. Not needed. We could start working on our plans for our armies. Um, that might be a good idea. So I want to have at least a field hospital for our because we're using a lot of infantry. So a field hospital should be should be nice. How are we doing here? Interwar artillery is done again. Uh, let's try and unlock even more. So let's try and unlock the maintenance company. Uh, let's see. Okay, they're actually it's, they're, they're still pretty pretty decent to fight. So okay, I'm gonna leave this episode over here. Uh, next episode we're gonna hopefully kill Poland and we're gonna see what we're what we're gonna deal with at that point because we then know how the world is looking like that and. And we can sort of start making plans on if we should go for Soviet, uh, for the Soviet Union or if we should go for like things like France and basically fight the Allies first. So if you want to, you know, leave tips or tricks or whatever, then please do that because I really appreciate that. I want to try to be better at this game. And if you guys can help me out, that's awesome. And always, and it will also make for a more entertaining series for you guys. So definitely leave your comments down below. And if you haven't, then please make sure to subscribe to not miss a single episode of this channel. As always, I've been Hitbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome, and thanks for watching.